In this video guys, you will learn how you can get e-signatures on your agreements automatically on receiving a form submission. So guys, here we have created a form using JotForm application and as and when this form is going to be submitted, an agreement will be generated automatically via e-signature.io application and that agreement will be sent to the person who have submitted the form to get signed through electronic signatures okay and it will happen automatically and guys to set up this automation we are not going to use any coding and we are going to do it very easily so let's start so we are using Pabli Connect to set up this automation and this is the landing page of Pabli Connect and this is an automation tool and from here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on sign up free button and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations okay so you can just sign up right now and after that you have to sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect application and here you have to click on this create workflow button and here it will uh, ask to give a name to your workflow so you can give any name so here i'm giving the name as e-signatures on agreements all right after giving any name just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page you will find these two things the trigger and the action so our automations are based on these two things only so the trigger is the event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the consequence or the response towards the trigger so when trigger happens action will make public connect perform any action in a different application okay so in our use case the trigger application would be a jot form application or any form application by which you have created the form and the action application would be e-signature.io okay so here you have to search for jot form and the trigger event would be new response received from the form and here you can see we got this webhook url so with the help of this url we are going to make a connection with jot form application and after that we are going to fetch the response of that connection so guys, first of all, you need to reach your JotForm application. Okay, this is the JotForms dashboard and here I have created this buyer agreement info form. Let me show you this form. So this is the form I have created and I'm asking these things from a person to whom we are going to make an agreement. Okay, and here you have to find the settings option and click on it. And on the left hand side panel, you'll find this integrations tab. So click on integrations and from here you have to search for webhooks tab guys. This is webhooks. Click on it and here you can see already an integration is up and running here. Let me remove this integration. All right and let us search for webhooks again. Here it is and here you will find this add webhook field. So here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got from your workflow. So here we have this webhook URL. Just click on copy from here and paste this url here like this and then click on complete integration button and you can see the integration is successfully created okay now you can click on finish and here you can see in this web uh, in this workflow as we have copied this webhook url it started showing waiting for the webhooks response so this means now we can perform a test submission test submission means now we are going to manually fill the form okay and the details of that form submission will be captured here in this section response section and that will act as a test data for us to set up the automation further okay so i'm going to open the form now so i'm going to click on publish and here you can open the form in a new tab and here let us fill in the details of the form so here i'm putting any name okay like this right so these are the details i have filled now i am clicking on submit and you can see the submission has been received all right so now let's check in the workflow if we got the data of this form submission and here you can see guys the data got captured that means our connection is working fine email address the first name the last name okay these are the submission details we got now guys according to this form submission i want to create an agreement 
and I want to send it to the person who have submitted the form. For that, we are going to use the section step and here I am going to use eSignatures.io application. Here it is. Select it and the action event would be create contract. Okay. Click on connect here. From here, select add new connection. And here it is asking for the secret uh, token key of eSignature.io application and you will get the t uh, token key from the API settings. Okay. So this is my eSignature.io applications dashboard in the API section. Okay. So you can read the instructions again. API settings. So here we have API option. Click on API. Under API uh, page, you will find this secret token like this. So you just have to click on copy here and copy this token and you have to paste it here in this field like this and then click on save and you'll be connected with eSignature.io. Okay. Right. And here it is asking for the contracts template. So I have created a template uh, of agreement that you want to generate. Okay. So you can create many templates here for generating your documents and the templates I have created for agreement is this business confidentiality agreement. Okay. This is the template I have created. And here you can see these are the things which are variable inside this template such as the seller's name, the buyer's name, the date involved, the date of the signature or uh, here we have this company's name. So these are the placeholders or the variable text I have placed in this uh, agreement so that we can change a few things every time we are going to generate a new template automatically. Okay. So I am going to connect, I am going to select the agreements or the templates name. So my templates name is this business confidentiality agreement. And here it is asking for the contracts title and all these things. And here we have a placeholder for the date as well. Okay. So to fill the date here, we are going to fetch the date first using a feature of public Connect, which is called date time formatter. Okay, so to get the date, you can you can just click here on this plus icon in between the steps like this and another action step will open up and here I'm going to search for date time format or feature of Pabli. Here it is. And the action event would be current date. So it is going to retrieve the current date or the date of the execution of the workflow. That means the date on which the form is going to submit it. Okay, so click on connect here. Here you can select the uh, format of the date. I'm selecting this. I do not want time to be included in the response. So I'm making it false and click on save and send test request here and you will get the current date in the exact same format. Okay, right now you can use the test data and this date here to fill in all these details to generate an agreement automatically. Okay. And here it is asking for the contracts title. So my contracts, you can see as I'm clicking here, it is not showing anything here. So you need to refresh the connection of eSignatures.io here. For that, just click on connected one more time. And from here, keep this select existing connection option selected and click on save and your connection will be refreshed. Okay. So here is the contract's template name and the contract title would be uh, here. You can see as I have clicked here, it started showing the previous steps in the drop down. So from this first step, you can uh, select the title as this uh, the form title. Okay, we are in the test mode. Yes, signers name. So here you just have to click and the signers name is the name of the person who have filled the form. So map the name of the person from this trigger step. Signer email, you will find the email address also. Signers mobile number. Let's see if we have the phone number of the signer. So we do not have it. So I'm leaving this blank. Okay. So these are not compulsory fields. So I'm leaving these things blank. Okay. And here seller information. You can put the seller's information. If you, if in case you are the seller, you can put your name here as this. So it's an agreement between buyer and seller. That's why it is asking these things. And the buyer is our form submitter. So I'm mapping the form submission submitters name here in the buyer name.
for the date now for the date I'm going to use the second step and map the current date and the company name you can put your company name here I am putting the company name manually here like this so the things that you are mapping here like this are going to change with every new form submissions and new data will be uh, entered into the agreement template but the thing that you are entering here manually is going to remain the static it will not change so the company name is same so we can enter the name manually as well now you can check your connection with uh, eSignature.io application as you are going to click on save and send test request a new document will be created and will be sent to this email address that you have mapped here in the signers email okay so this is not an original address I'm going to put my email address here and I'll show you how the document will be generated and will be sent to the person who have filled the form so let's say this is the in email inbox of the person who have filled the form okay and here I'm clicking on save and send test request button all right so this is the response we have received you can see all right and here we have received a new email and the email is this your company via eSignature.io your buyer agreement info is ready to sign okay and here you can see by clicking on view and sign button the person can view the document and sign the document and here you can see this is the same buyer agreement info uh, this was the title we have placed here you can see this was the title we have placed here contract title okay and let's see another things and here you can see in place of the body uh, in place of the placeholders we got the date placed here okay and here you can see uh, between seller name and dummy name okay so the play the names are also added here like this and in place of all the placeholders the data got placed automatically according to the data that we have mapped here so this is how it is going to work guys and from here the person can uh, sign on this ag agreement as well by clicking on this sign button like this okay here you can see thank you for signing the buyer agreement info the document got signed automatically okay by the person so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever any of your uh, client or any person to whom you want to do an agreement with is going to fill your form the document the agreement will be generated and will be sent to that person automatically for getting signed and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description and you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel